Hey lovelies, it's Ebony and I'm back with another video for you. As always, I'm starting off with freshly washed hair before straightening it. And to wash my hair, I use the Girl & Hair Cleanse Shampoo. If you are following me on Instagram, then I'm sure this video looks a little bit familiar to you. And yeah, I decided to use this video instead of shooting new footage because work smarter, not harder. This is one of my absolute favorite shampoos and I will get into that in just a little bit. And to deep condition my hair or actually hydrate my hair, I use the Nourished by Shantae Pink Honeysuckle and Mango Hydration Mask. She is a fellow um, natural hair YouTuber, so check her out, Shantae's Way, and her line is Nourished by Shantae. Now before drying my hair, I like to let my hair air dry for just a little while because soaking wet hair takes way longer to dry and obviously ain't nobody got time for that. Now because I'm straightening my hair, I want to make sure that I use a lightweight leave-in conditioner. I get this question a lot about what type of leave-in conditioners to use on your hair before straightening it because a lot of people, and myself included, you know, obviously we don't want stringy, weighed down, straight hair. So I feel like liquid leave-in conditioners are best in these situations because you definitely want the moisture, but you don't want that weighed down, oily feeling that the more creamy leave-in conditioners give your hair. And obviously you don't want to skip this step either. So liquid leave-in conditioners are my suggestion. And my All Organics to me has one of the most moisturizing liquid leave-in conditioners. And once I had the leave-in conditioner brushed all throughout my hair, it was time to add my heat protectant. Of course, I'm using Cure Care Thermal Wonder, and this will probably be the last time you all see me with this. I feel like it's sold out everywhere, and it doesn't look like it's coming back. I've searched high and low, and it's still showing sold out everywhere. So my favorite heat protectant, I think it's gone. But luckily, I think Cure Care has come out with a new heat protectant I might have to try that one I don't know but just to be on the safe side let me know in the comment section what your favorite heat protectant is back to the tutorial to dry my hair I am for sure using my rev air hair dryer I will not be going back to the traditional blow dryer anytime soon like in order for me to leave the rev air I would have to be using something that's drying my hair all at once like how my hair is being sucked down into that tube there would have to be some machine drying all of my hair all at once like I'm not switching over like look at this I've never been this relaxed while blow drying my hair it has always been a struggle blow dry my hair when it was time to flat iron it because it's just i have so much and my arms would be so weak my hands would be shaking and then i would still have to flat iron my hair oh and before i forget let me tell you guys why the girl and hair cleansing shampoo is my favorite it has two very important ingredients in it that helps with fighting off dandruff while your hair is straight and that's of course tea tree oil and neem oil they're both antifungal antibacterial and those two things are very important when fighting off dandruff and because i don't plan to go back curly tomorrow i need as much help as i can get now this video is not sponsored by BioIonic, but they did send me these three products that you are about to see on your screen. The first was a blow dryer, the second is a one pass styling iron, and the other is a three in one styling iron. This blow dryer weighs less than a pound and it promises to dry your hair in less than 10 minutes. Now I know they couldn't have meant that for kinky curly hair. I used this on Alex's hair and it just, it was not enough force at all. But it is lightweight though. Next up is the Nano Ionic MX Hair Straightener. The one pass styling iron, 1.5 inches. This was really, really interesting. I was rather impressed by this flat iron. And I don't know why I'm pointing at this little thumbprint thingy for so long, but I think I was just excited to have these little stay cool areas to keep my fingers from burning. And last but not least is the Nano Ionic MX 3-in-1 Styling Iron. It's a curling iron, a hair straightener, as well as a curling wand. I thought this was pretty cute because if you're traveling, who wants to pack a flat iron as well as a curling iron? So all you have to do to lock it in position is switch the little thingy on the back that locks the flat iron in place. And then you have the little clip thingy for the curls. <laughs> and there you go. Now, one of the first things I noticed about this flat iron, other than the thumbprint area, is how fast it heats up. Like, look how quickly those numbers are moving. I only went up to 395. I did start out with 410 because normally I flat iron my hair at about 420. But I was like, well, let me see if 395 will work. I wanted to try 400, but I think the flat iron only moves in increments of 15 degrees at a time. So it was either 410 or 395. 
The next thing I noticed about this flat iron that I really, really appreciated is I didn't have to use the chase method. And if you aren't familiar with the chase method, it's really just using a bristle brush along with the flat iron to make sure that your strands stay nice and spread about, spread, oh my gosh, spread apart to get your hair nice and straight on the first or second try. This flat iron has a silicone strip right down the middle on both plates to help keep the hair nice and smooth while in between the plates and in my opinion, keeps the hair nice and taut while you're straightening it. And that's why I use a bristle brush. It creates more tension while flat ironing your hair, which helps to get it straight on the first try. And it took me a few sections and a few tries, but I finally realized that I could put my finger, my fingertips on the end of the flat iron and just pinch that right nice and tight while holding it tight on the other side, well, the handle, <laughs> to get my hair straight on the first try. It's just really difficult when you have long hair because to keep that tension going from top to bottom, you kind of lose your strength a little bit, just a little bit, but it definitely got better as I was moving along with the sections. But even with all the trial and error and not choosing the right section to flat iron, choosing ones that are too big, <laughs> trying to make it work anyway, I was able to master the one pass method with this flat iron and that cut the time down so quickly. Normally it takes me at least an hour and a half to flat iron my hair. This time it took an hour, maybe even 50 minutes. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, who wouldn't want to cut down the time on flat ironing their hair? It was hot, I was hungry and it was getting late. So yeah, this flat iron truly did its thing and i want to make sure that i mentioned the nano ionic plates really played a part in sealing in the moisture in my hair my hair did not feel dry it didn't smell burned and i think my hair actually was kind of shiny some of that could be from the thermal protector but my hair just i don't know i, I am really excited to use this flat iron again now don't get me wrong flat ironing your hair and heat styling tools in general will for sure rob your hair of any moisture that it has. But if you are going to use a heat styling tool, you wanna choose one that's going to try to leave as much moisture in there as possible. And these special plates help to do that. And I could tell because my hair was not frizzy, it didn't feel dry and straw-like, it was really smooth. If anytime you're flat ironing your hair and it just doesn't seem to get straight, it's not smooth, it's still frizzy after several passes, something's wrong put that flat iron down and find a new one please but anyway if you guys remember the vibrating flat iron that i used to use all the time that is the same company that made this one and the vibrating one used to be my favorite but i don't know this one pass you know it's giving new favorite feels because any flat iron is going to cut down the time and i can get those same nice smooth frizz free results and i don't feel like i'm cooking my hair Oh yes, yes, you're in first place.
Okay, you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If so, please give me a big thumbs up. Share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Remember to speak your greatness. And as always, thanks for watching.